Welcome back to Half A Hot Rods. I'm Adam. If you're new to the channel, what we try and do is every week show you that you don't need a whole bunch of talent, money, or knowledge in order to have fun with cars and old trucks. Now, this week I'd really like to be working on the 57 or Tucker Square Body, but sometimes you have to take a break and take care of those vehicles that take care of everything else and make the fun stuff possible. So come along with us as we give Betty White a little budget upgrade makeover. We're going to make the old three-quarter ton truck look a little better. Come on along. Okay, this is Betty White, our three-quarter ton 8.1 powered pickup. It does towing duty, hauling duty, basically everything that we possibly need it to. Family car, vacation car. Everything except for get good fuel mileage because it's an 8.1, but it does pull really nicely. So some of you might have seen the video I did where we did body work on this truck. Body work. Where we straightened out the bent bumper and stuff. I don't think I did another video when Wyatt crashed it after Missy got done crashing it. But he bent down this side and, you know, from a distance it doesn't look terrible. But when you get up close, you can see that I've done some uh, modifications to make things fit. Uh, there's some washers and bending, and there's, it's not right. We told Wyatt he was going to build us some. But I had a sneaking suspicion that he was going to run out of time and availability to do that. So I've been keeping an eye out for some used bumpers. So today we have those used bumpers, and we're going to take that front one and this rear one off, which is not damaged at all actually, and we're going to replace them with these guys. They're both ranch hand style bumpers. They match each other. They're black. They're not new, but they're not beat to death, and I think they're going to look a lot better on this truck than the beat up old ones that I've got. So let's get going here. we got two bolts here. These two bolts go through the outside, and then this one. And that's the same on both sides. Okay. Uh, the license plate lights are in here. They're usually just a quarter twist, and they come out. I got them on both sides already. I got to cut some zip ties for the trailer stuff. And then I think we're ready to un start unbolting stuff. So let's see if we can get this done. It looks like we've got one up through the top of the hitch over there too that I didn't see initially. This guy. Helps if you go the right direction. That's kind of a cool idea. I'm going to put all my nuts and bolts back together. Try and keep me from mixing them up. Hmm. I bet that's welded. <laughs> enough. So you're not supposed to use chrome sockets on an impact. You're definitely not supposed to use chrome universal joints on an impact. That's what I got. Uh, that's called foreshadowing. Yep. 18. In case you're wondering. Well, the thing with an impact on a universal joint is if they come out of there, they're going to come out of there fast and unpredictable. And you don't want it to hit you in the face. It's not going to feel good. Ah. 
also they absorb torque so sometimes they're not the best tool for the job I'm not super worried about this falling on me because the hitch holds it up even when it's unbolted. Made her work for it. A little bit of that Loctite on there. Huh. Did I have to take both sides of that off? No. I don't think I had to take these ones out. Idiot. An idiot! Yeah, I definitely didn't. Oh well. Moving on. So the ones that were harder to get to, I didn't have to do. I guess if I'd have looked closer, I would have seen that. Maybe. Try to be slightly less dumb on this side. Some custom wiring in the way over here. By custom, I don't necessarily mean good. I mean, it's not terrible. I've seen worse, but I've also seen better. All right, what else we gotta get out? We don't have to do those two front ones. Stupid. All right, so there should be two that go up through the hitch. Right here. And right there. Uh, cut a couple zip ties for wires. Yeah, we'll cut them. And I think that bumper comes off. Let's see. turning just not fast. Ah! Pull on the hitch, not the bumper, so I don't just throw the bumper off. Oh, and some of this custom wiring is tied to the hitch to the bumper. When I say tied to the bumper, I mean they literally tied it to the bumper. Oh no. Really? You gotta be kidding me. This is nice. So this is a extra plug that's in the bed, which is cool. It's good to have. They ran this wiring through the bumper bracket, through this hole. It comes over here, goes up over. I don't know how to get it out of there without pulling that other plug off. So now we just added probably 20 minutes to a half hour to the job that didn't need to be. But I don't see any way around it, honestly. I'm going to have to cut some more of their custom wire holder uppers. Cool. You guys did a great job. I got an idea. It doesn't have those. Yeah, we better do it the right way. I don't want to cut that. I was thinking about just cutting it. Zip! Sliding that out of there, bending it around. That's not the right way to do it. 
We'll take a few minutes, take our wiring deal apart, disconnect the battery, maybe. If I can figure out how to work this plug, I think it'll just come off here. Son of a, I mean, just ow. I wish I'd have moved that hitch a little farther away. There, I just unplugs. Can only put it back one way. Hopefully we can fish it down through there now. Come on now. This is nice. I mean, who needs zip ties? Not this guy. Right, 15 minutes and one smash knuckle later. Ta-da! Ta-da! Todo bueno! Dirty, dirty, dirty. And now would probably be the easiest time to get these old license plates off. So the bolts through the hitch on this bumper go through from the top. You can see that one's not going to work so good that way. So I think the bumper's off to the side. We're going to get under here and look. We're going to see I got that bracket for the bumper is outside the frame. This one is inside the frame and there's a gap behind it. So we got to go back out with the bumper over so that both brackets are inside the frame and then bring it back in. At least it's not heavy. Yeah. Not really in a good place to grab this thing with one person. these bolts through the hitch started that way it shouldn't fall off while we're monkeying with it also going to see what size socket they are well it's easy to get to we're going to leave everything loose until we get all our bolts started and get the thing situated let's have a look at this though Ow! Just smashed my creeper into my ankle. Felt great. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. He must work out. I started with the back because I thought it'd be easier because I don't think anything's bent, but this one hole doesn't want to line up. Let me give it a little bit of the pry bar action and see what happens. 
And by pry bar, I mean screwdriver. Yep. Problem is, the only hole I have to stick the pry bar in is the one I need to put the bolt in. Alright, I think we have all our bolts in. Let's see what it looks like. Everything's loose. I mean, comparing it to the body line on the truck, I think we're pretty good. I think when we tighten down those hitch bolts, it's not going to give us much choice as to where it's going to go. So, start with them and just crank everything down. There's something. Looking at my gap between the bed and the bumper, and it all looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. We're just going to hammer it home and see what happens. I have to put a battery on that first though. <laughs> click, click, torqued. <laughs> Good news is I kept my mouth shut. The bad news is my ear hole's full of dirt. Those are smaller, so we'll give them less ooga doogas. So the bumper is physically on. Uh, now we just got to tie up all our wiring and probably change some light fixtures based on what I'm seeing here so that the license plate lights will work. And then run our plug back up into the bedside. Let's go. So these obviously aren't going to work with these guys. Are they? That sure be cool if they did. Be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> but they're not going to. So, just jam them in there and glue them in. Yeah, custom. Uh, this guy, I wonder how I'm going to get that through there. I didn't think too much about that. <laughs> so i got to get this camper cord back up through the side and through the little hole with only one person out here. So I dropped a bungee cord down through, hooked it on the other end. We're going to try hooking this and then uh, I still could use two people. If I can just get it past that plastic deal, then I should be able to pull it up through myself. Just get it to sit up here and the hook not come off. Leave that there. Booger picker saves the day again. Only goes one way. 
tight because there's a groove. And we'll jam this lock back in there. Back in business. I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah, I'm a little surprised that worked on the first try, too. We'll come back and tighten them with a regular screwdriver to make sure I don't destroy them. I've been known to over-tighten things before. So these lights fit this bumper, but they've got the guillotine connectors, so I'm not going to reuse those. I hope these lights work. And they ground through the bumper, it looks like. Because there's only one wire, so they must ground to the bumper. So these guys just shove into the bumper. That's how they work. But we're going to cut all this crappy wiring off here. And then connect it to the factory lights. Right here. Start by cutting these off. Throwing all this in the trash. I'm just going to twist these together and hook them to the battery charger and make sure that they both work. Because if they don't, then we'll get some new light sockets rather than monkey around wiring these in when they're no good. Either one of them work, really. Hmm, that one works. Okay. That one works. Okay. Yep. It was a little redneck, but it worked. Another texture photo is going to be positive. If I guess, I'll take one strike. I'm going to test my picture. We'll save that, that's still good. Alright, here we got lights. We have ground. And we got power. Okay. What do you know? I guessed right. I'd really prefer this wire was a little thicker, so I'm going to strip it further back, fold it over, and give that connector more to get a hold of. Probably not the right way to do it, but it's worked for me in the past. Lights in, connect everything up, make sure they work, and then we'll finish taping. Well, we're working on the back. I got the front bumper sitting out in the sun, getting good and hot. 
Are those? We might have to wait till dark. Those are so sun bleached. I'll just do that so we can see. Yeah, they're putting out light, I think. Yeah. Not a huge fan of those. We may have to figure out something else. But it works for now. Oh. Yeah, you can see that one. Yeah, it's just not the best grounding system. Again, good enough for now. Not a huge fan. Let's do some zip tie work. Clean up this mess. And we'll flip it around, make a new mess. used to use those. Well, good news. Wyatt's here now, so he's going to do most of the work since he was the most recent one to crash it. And we're flipped around to work on the front. You know it's bad when you have to crash it. Yeah. There are a few things under there that are going to look a little, you know, not factory. Thanks to you and your mom. Probably the right way would be to take the grill out. We may end up having to have it out anyway. Put it back, but... You should be on. Yeah. Oh, I think we just destroyed the universal. Why? Because that universal just came apart. It did? Yep. Dang it! That's, that's great. So here's what we're dealing with. There's the one on that side. Bolt comes through the top down in. And then this one comes through the top down in. And then that top one we did. And then he did the brackets out here. That might be all that holds this. Of course, this one's got cooler lines in the way. So I'm probably going to have to do the whole thing with an end wrench. That's going to be fun. saying I redneck this at all but uh, to make that other bumper sit level oh is that a spacer yeah we had a lug nut she just sat in there all right now could the two of us pick this up and move it around yeah probably but can we hold it up while we're starting bolts that would be a challenge can we get it lined up without busting stuff yeah Getting it lined up without destroying plastic parts. <laughs> 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 
Is that supposed to line up with that? What? Look down through here. Or is that an ear that you guys bent back when you crashed it? That could be. I don't know. We'll figure that out in a minute. Let's try and get this thing started. I don't know if that helped us or not. Have to take this out to get the grill out. Take what out? This 10 millimeter. By the way, there's a 10 millimeter missing out of my quarter inch drive set. You know anything about that? I actually don't. You were the last one in there before it disappeared. It was not. Yep. What would I have been using quarter inch drive for? I don't know. Just to lose my stuff, I imagine. You're acting suspicious. Yeah. For five minutes and you're already having a shopsicle? You ain't done nothing yet. It's hot outside. Okay, that might give us enough flex. Let me record you. Well, I'm gonna be the one doing all the work. That's the sound of it not threading in. Cool. That's, that's exactly what I wanted. It's in. Mm -hmm. thread as good as a lock nut. Let's see how all the rest of the bolts line up, and then we'll fight with that one. What the take the turn feather off? Get that out of here. He's smooth. I'll give him that. Okay, dog time. Safety squints. Hold your breath. Okay, so just as Wyatt was giving us the little safety talk about the squints and such, the memory card on the camera got full. And I didn't really want to go in the house right away and download everything. Then we figured out that those 
brackets that looked like they weren't lined up looking down through the core support yeah they really weren't lined up they were bent so we got under there and beat them back into shape finish bolting everything up and here's a finished product i think that looks pretty good we also upgraded wheels while we were at it Hound dog. You gonna play shy today, buddy? So I'm pretty happy with that end result. Um, we got those pretty cheap. Uh, did some trading and negotiating with Maverick on a truck that he was buying and reselling. So it's kind of hard to say what you would actually pay for those. I've seen these as cheap as three or four hundred dollars a piece for the bumpers online. So we'll go with that as far as a cost. We reused all the nuts and bolts, and we probably spent between the two of us about four hours out there. Might not be that long on your project, because hopefully your stuff's not all bent up from people crashing it over and over again. But uh, yeah, for the change in how this truck looks, I'm really happy with it. So, uh, until next time, remember to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I uh, try and do some updates on the TikTok on some of the smaller projects that won't really make a good YouTube video. And uh, remember, if we can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.